PDKIO 2.0 is coming and it's big. It's got a lot of great updates that bring enterprise level features directly to your PDK Red system. This is gonna be great for your multi-site clients, for instance, but even if you don't cater to enterprise level customers, there's still something for you in this update. There are four major features that I want to talk about in this video. Streamlined multi-site management, pre-installation configuration, offline configuration, and a new health dashboard that gives you a bird's eye view of your entire system, outlines the health of each individual component, and lets you take action right away if any action is needed. These are all pretty big features to bring to the PDK ecosystem, but as we'll see throughout this video, there is no additional bloat added to the interface. I think PDK did a great job seamlessly integrating the 2.0 features into the interface that we already know and love. Even though we do have more enterprise level features, everything is still super user friendly. Everything is exactly the way you would expect to see it. It just flows so nicely. It almost feels like these features have been here the whole time. And my guess is once you've used PDK 2.0 for a while, you'll wonder how you ever got by before. I'm filming this video around the middle of November. PDK IO 2.0 will be live next month December 2023. So definitely keep an eye on your cloud account throughout the month of December. If you have any firmware upgrades, be sure to update to the latest version because you are not going to want to miss this. Let's jump into this video and talk about the four main features of PDKIO 2.0. Before we jump into the new features of PDKIO 2.0, let's talk about how PDK has worked traditionally. If you've never heard of PDK, first of all, kudos for making it this far in the video. Secondly, PDK is a cloud-based access control system. And here's how that has looked traditionally. First, every system starts with a cloud node. That's what this guy is. You need one cloud node for every system that you put together. This is what's going to connect your entire system to the PDKIO cloud. Once you have your cloud node in place, you can start putting together the individual pieces of your access control system. That's going to be door controllers, either one door, two door, or four door. That's going to be your door locks, your card readers, your push to exit buttons. Everything that makes up your access control system is all going to be connected to the cloud node, which will then connect it to the PDK cloud. Then from the cloud side, every dealer who installs PDK access control will have a cloud account. Every PDK cloud account has a customer section where you can add new customers. And that's where you would go to associate each cloud node and bring it onto the cloud. Let's just go ahead and create Nelly security. And once you do, you can see that we have this screen where we start adding cloud nodes. So we'll do that. We'll add our cloud node here. And that brings us to this screen where we can configure everything we need to. This is great. This has worked for a long time, but it does have its limitations. The main limitation is that everything is configured within this cloud node. So you can see before I got to this screen where I can start adding users, adding doors, schedules, rules, I first had to add a cloud node. None of these settings and configurations can be accessed without the cloud node functioning properly. So if I want to configure a system before I actually install it, well, I can't do that because I have to have the cloud node set up first. If the cloud node goes offline for some reason, maybe there's a power outage or network failure, I cannot access this cloud node no matter what. If I try to log into my dealer portal and the cloud is offline, it's gonna tell me this node is offline. It's not gonna let me access anything. Another limitation here is that all of these settings are siloed within this single cloud node. So let's say our Nelly security customer gets a branch in Oklahoma City and we add a new cloud node for the Oklahoma City location. Well, these two cloud nodes can't share settings. They can't share users. They can't share door schedules. Everything has to be done basically from scratch. So if I need to make a user that has the same level of access for both locations, I'm gonna have to make that user twice. When you scale this up to enterprise level customers that have hundreds of users across several different sites, you can see why PDK has never really been a viable option. But really all of these limitations come down to the same thing, being dependent upon this cloud node. So the answer seems pretty simple in theory, in practice, it's a lot more difficult. The real solution is to take everything that is bound by the cloud node, all your users, all your doors, all your settings and configurations, and elevate them up one level in the cloud. It might seem simple, but this is a game changer. And let me tell you why. First of all, 
Now that you're no longer locked into your cloud node, you can have multiple cloud nodes under the same customer that all share the same users, the same schedules, the same configurations. So in our Nelly security example, if we open up an Oklahoma City branch, for instance, we can then have users with the same credentials, with the same schedule in both locations. Okay, now if you have multiple cloud nodes, when you go to add a user, you can then grant them access or deny them access per cloud node or per location. Really great update. What else does it mean that all of our data is now up one level in the cloud? Well, it also means that we can access all of our configurations without the cloud node actually being active. So you can now completely configure your customer's entire system before you ever even pull their products off the shelf. Just add the customer in your cloud account. And instead of going to the screen where you can add cloud nodes, you'll immediately land directly on the configuration page and you can start adding your users. You can start adding dummy doors that you can replace later. You can start adding all of your schedules, have everything ready to go. Then you can take your equipment to your client, install everything, and it's all just working right out of the box. This also means that when there's a power outage, when the network goes out, when the cloud node is just not accessible for whatever reason, you can still get in there, you can still add users, you can still customize things. Then when the cloud node does come back online later, it's going to instantly download all of that information from the cloud and it's just gonna work. All the new users that you added while the cloud node was offline will still be a part of the system. Any of the settings that you may have changed while it was offline will be set. There's really nothing else that you need to do. Speaking of cloud nodes that go offline, this next feature that I'm gonna talk about is probably the most noticeable feature update, at least as far as the interface goes. If you haven't gotten excited so far at what we've showed you about PDK 2.0, I think you're really gonna love this. It is a health dashboard that gives you a bird's eye view of everything that's going on in your customer's system across all of their cloud nodes, across all of the individual components of their system, and it gives you a ton of information at a very quick glance. So let's say a cloud node does go offline. In the past, you might have to go on site for troubleshooting and to get this thing working again. But now with this new dashboard, you actually have a ton of helpful information that might help you figure out the problem before you ever even leave your office. You can see what time the cloud node went offline. You can see if there are any issues with the individual components. And you might be able to tell exactly what the problem is just from looking at this screen. And it might be something as easy as a phone call to the client to fix. This can save you a ton of time. It can save you truck rolls. It can save you headaches. And it's just really nice to look at, especially when everything is going the way it's supposed to be going. You get all those beautiful green lights. Mm, it's great to see. PDK IO 2.0. Be on the lookout for this upgrade in December of 2023. If you're watching this after December of 2023, Make sure that all of your equipment is upgraded to the latest firmware. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite feature of PDK IO 2.0? What is it that you're looking forward to the most? We always love hearing from our customers. As always, if you have any questions about PDK, if you have any questions about access control or physical security in general, please give our team a call, send us an email. We're always happy to help you out. Happy installing, and I'll catch you in the next video.